Hello everyone, I'm Edita Sitter from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to visit with me and see some beautiful quilts. I am so excited for you today. You know, we're going through some wonderful series of quilts. We started with a simple square, then we went for half square triangles, then we moved on to a low rectangles, and today it's a longer strip, and let's see what we can make with those. We're gonna talk about log cabin, pineapples, and a variation of courthouse steps. I cannot wait to share some amazing quilts with you. I hope you're ready. I'm so excited. We're gonna start with few of the antique quilts that I have prepared for you. They are just beautiful. They're from my collection and I just love sharing them with you. There are some really special quilts. And I chose this one as our first quilt to see. Beautiful. I just adore this quilt. Oh, the brown in it also. It's so strong and so wonderful. And the delicate binding, just like my necklace. I got it from my dad. Some of you comment on my necklace and wonder where it came from. My father gave it to me many years ago. And there's a tradition that in Poland, you give a red necklace to a girl. At least in my household, that was the tradition. So I got that one from my father and I treasure it very, very much. My father is 94 years old this year and I cannot wait to be able to go and visit him and see him again. So I'm really excited about this one. But back into quilting, look at our strips right through the light area. Isn't that delightful? Not only the red centers, but also the pink right here. Look at how it connects and brings a little bit more interest to this wonderful quilt. This one has a bedding in it and it is hand quilted. And like I said, it's one of my antique quilts. Very special. I love that size of the block. You're gonna see that one in some of my quilts that I make. I love that half an inch finish size of the logs. They're just beautiful. I promise you some courthouse steps. And right here, you have a wonderful courthouse steps. Notice this one. Oh, isn't that delightful? Look at this, how exciting. And again, it was foundation piece to squares right here. Look at this. Isn't that special? So, so beautiful. I cannot wait to enjoy this one more and lay it out this summer. It is so light because it doesn't have a bedding in it. What a beauty. Oh, those quilts are just wonderful. Antique quilts are so special. They give so much inspiration. I love to decorate my house with it, lay them around. They inspire me through color, through pattern. It is just amazing. And you know me, decorating my house, Many of you know that my favorite quilts to decorate my household are blue and white quilts. Look at, at this quilt. Isn't that just stunning? It is pineapple block. And it is just that contrast of light and blue that it really gives that striking, almost modern pattern to this quilt. Isn't that beautiful? I love this pineapple quilt. Ah, uh, it was in one of my book called called Patches of Blue. This one was from Patches of, just a picture of the quilt. In Patches of Blue, in the beginning of the book, I show an array of antique quilts that I absolutely love. Now, into some of the quilts that I have made. One of my personal favorite and one of the oldest pattern and oldest quilt that I have made it th is this Broken Star Log Cabin. You have seen this one many, many times, I bet, from me. This one, it is just delightful. I love the idea of half light, half dark log cabin blocks, all light blocks, all dark blocks. This will create that secondary design of this broken star log cabin. Isn't that wonderful? And this one is made with just all different scraps in browns, reds, with a red little center. But I have a second one for you. Look at how beautiful and striking this one is with a yellow little center. All my blue scraps have found a home in this log cabin quilt. Isn't 
isn't that delightful. And I did quilt this one. I did a little bit more of a custom quilting. I did beautiful feathers on a corner and just pineapple peel around here. And I have a design that goes right through the middle. It really came out nice. I'm super happy with this quilt and am so glad I made it in case you get excited about those little blocks and you keep going you maybe make this quilt and this one is from our book called friendship strips and scraps and this book had so many beautiful scrappy quilt and this one called seven sisters look at what happened with this cute little log cabins and instead of using reds in all of the blocks in some of them i use a tiny bit of pink just sprinkle that little pink through the quilt it just makes this quilt so beautiful i love it and yes there are some blocks that are all light to get this design to happen so using that kind of technique really helps create a beautiful quilt how do I pick my fabric for log cabin quilts sometimes I start with the blocks and it's simple blue light boom I have made my blocks but sometimes I wanted to more color coordinate the pieces so what I do is I pick up a fabric that I'm going to use for a border and from those colors I pick the colors that I'm going to be using in my log cabin blocks and notice this quilt and the layout of it how beautiful it is isn't that delightful and again you have the light and a dark with the orange centers I pulled that orange from here and I also threw it as my accent in the border. Isn't that stunning? But sometimes what I like to do, I go to the dark side. What that means is no light on my log cabin. Notice it, instead of half light, half dark, this log cabin, all the pieces are just dark and I just wave the uh, go with the circles going around and around, repeating the color to create almost a design of a square in a square. And remember last week, we learned about scrappy panel. I took all the leftover strips, sewed them together and cut it as my piano key border for this cutie. And this one is from our book of Scrappy Fireworks. This book is so wonderful. There's so many beautiful, beautiful quilts in it, like this one. I am so glad you took the time and wanted to visit with me. Isn't it fun? Aren't you getting excited and wanna like grab all your scraps and start creating a quilt? And maybe since we were inspired by half square triangles, you have been making some. Look at this. You can use a half square triangle for a center of your log cabin. Today, you grab some of the strips and start creating this beautiful log cabin quilt. Look at how stunning it is. This one is from my book, Scrappy um, um, Handful of Scraps. Isn't that amazing? Handful of scraps. And last week I had a question, how do I color coordinate my scraps? What do I do? I anchor some of the scrappiness by adding a, something like a red center, red in the border. It's going to anchor some of the craziness. And you can see this in the past and today in many of the quilts adding some kind of one color that it's going to cool it down and hold everything together and speaking of holding together why do we have to hold into the rules that lock up and block is half dark half light we can break those rules i hope i'm showing this to you already and in this lock cabin block this is what i did instead of making my blocks half dark half light I broke every log, half light, half dark, and created that secondary design of dark image going right through the center. In log cabin blocks, many times the center is the smallest little square. This time I made my square nice and large. This another thing that I did in a traditional log cabin, you don't have sashings and cornerstones. Your blocks would be sewn all together. In this one, I add sashing and a cornerstone. And now look what happened. I have a star design that appear when you look at, at this quilt as the uh, results of the layout of the quilt. So just basic log cabin blocks, think about little bit different color option and look what happened 
cross rods. This is another wonderful quilt. And you can do this one in any colors you want. I want to take one more second of your time. If you think about it and do half of the block in blue, half of red, and make all your blocks this way, uh, way once you start laying your blocks down, connect red to red, blue to blue, and you're going to have blue stars and red stars. What a wonderful idea. I think I'm going to go to my sewing room right after this and start pulling my fabrics together. Are you with me? Oh, I bet you are. Now, if you do not want to use scraps, you want to use the jelly rolls, you can make blocks like this. Remember, we talk about pineapple courthouse steps, um, and pineapples are very popular. They're a variation of a log cabin block, but this pineapple is super special. It's just one block that makes the whole quilt. It's a free pattern on our website. So you can go ahead and visit our website at laundrybasketquilts.com and enjoy this download free pattern. This one calls Flower Wall. You start in the center and you start building. I do highly recommend please please go to our youtube channel and watch the video how i made this quilt it is so much fun and it just gives you such a great results so go visit our website get all the information maybe you have hidden a little rainbow roll so grab that a jelly roll from uh, olive branch or maybe linen texture and you can create this rainbow arrangement. I love this quilt and exactly a year ago, a little bit a year ago, I went to a quilt con and I had this quilt hanging right there. I had a booth at quilt con and I had it hanging in my booth and it got so much attention. So it's a wonderful quilt and you can really create a great quilt really quickly with those two and a half inch strips. Now, if you like me and love the smaller piecing, you're gonna love this pineapple. Yeah, it's Hawaiian delight. Notice this beauty. It starts with red centers right here, and it have a little yellow around it right there. Notice it, and no notice my dark pieces, how beautifully they go right through the quilt, and notice the design, how circular it is. When I designed this pattern and create this foundation paper, I had a little bit of a hard time because I want my circle to be nice and smooth and it was not coming the right way. So instead of drawing my design, design from center out, I begin by drawing from the outside in and it came out to be beautiful and exactly what I wanted to do. This one is foundation piece on foundation paper and I love that technique. If you like pineapples, you're gonna love this variation of a pineapple. This one calls everlasting reef, everlasting reef. And I was so proud. Someone has purchased the pattern, create the quilt, submit it to uh, a show, and he won a ribbon at the show. And I was so proud of it. It was in 2000 and it was just I was just so happy. It was like a proud grandma moment. And this one is super special because it's not a square. It's a hexagon, hexagon. So right there, you have the six sides. You're gonna start with the dark center, build your lock, uh, blocks, pineapples around it. And you have some blocks that are all dark and some blocks that are half dark, half light. And this is what it's going to create that secondary design of the most beautiful everlasting reefs going through this quilt. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful show. Didn't you enjoy all the beautiful log cabins, pineapples, and courthouse steps quilts that we have looked at it? And I want to finish with this quilt. It is just so special. And I love this quilt. This one is um, called Eldon. And Eldon starts with a star. This is an eight point star in the center. And then it's the log cabin blocks are set into my eight point star. 
This one is so much fun and it's not that difficult to make. You just need a set of templates, pattern, some scraps and I bet you could enjoy this one just as much as I did. Now you probably wonder what is the quilt behind me. Do you remember the first quilt that I show you called Broken Star Log Cabin? In the past, long time ago, many times a baby quilts were made as a variation from a pattern from a larger quilt. And this one used to be on my bed and then I made my smaller Broken Star Log Cabin. Look at how beautiful it is as a large size and you wonder where you can get that pattern. In Broken Star Log Cabin pattern, we have a bonus nine inch block. So that's the block that I use to make this quilt and then I use the same layout that I use in the smaller one. Well, I'm so glad you stopped by and enjoy. Let's go over one more time all the patterns and everything that we have looked at. And then I have so many cute little surprises for you. So Broken Star, that's the one we talked about it that you really like it. Crossroads was another one that we love it. Everlasting Grief was the pineapple quilt in hexagon. Hawaiian delight, I tell you, it's gonna be like being on vacation with your scraps. Elden pattern is just delightful and I have it right here, the quilt. And those are the templates that you need for that one. Super cute. Shining star is on the right side of me. Look at this one. And I just brought this quilt just to decorate today or maybe is a hint what we're doing next week. <clears throat> Are there stars in your future? Because notice I have Aurora, so to star on this side. So that's just a little bit a hint for next week what we're gonna do. And the pattern for Aurora is right here. The three books that we looked at quilts from are Handful of Scraps, my favorite. I highly recommend for anybody that loves scrappy quilts, scrappy fireworks, and our friendship strips and scraps. How many wonderful things. But that's not all that I brought it for you. Let me make a little bit room because I wanna show you something that it's super special. And I'm gonna start with this again. Um, remember, I tease you a little bit with our seamstress collection. So we got some preview of those fabrics and I just had to bring one of the bolts. They're not for sale yet, but they're going to be. We're getting them in stock. But notice it, how beautiful this fabric is. Perfect for spring. So as soon as I got a bolt, I had to show it to you guys. This is stunning. There are so many lovely pieces in that collection. You're really going to enjoy it. Look at this one. That's the same print, just in a light background. It's gonna be perfect for borders. And I am big fan of those reds. Notice the reds, they are just oh, beautiful. Another thing that arrived, I don't know if you guys have tried it. We have a box called Quilter's Dozen. Quilter's Dozen is pre-cut blocks. There are 12 blocks already pre-cut for you with the pattern included in it, all the pieces are pre-cut. Did you hear me? Pre-cut. I love this because I can grab this box, open it up. I don't have to cut. I don't have to press. I don't have to do anything. I just get into what I love, what it's sewing. And in this box, you have 12 blocks. You can make a table runner. And this is the brand new one. This one has rainbow blocks. These are going on our website today. So if you want one of them, make sure you uh, uh, order one for yourself and I'm keeping this one so you can't have this one this is mine <clears throat> I just got it but visit our website they're gonna be on our website and you can buy one you can buy two you can add a session in between you can go to our blog and I show different layout and we have this one and we have this sweetheart what it's the little hearts and we have another one coming up shortly a little spools you guys going to love them start collecting them because you can make a whole quilt with those blocks and they're all pre-cut for you another brand new thing that just arrived and I'm so excited about this one is this blocks we have for this quilt. This calls family tree. 
Look at how stunning it is. And you wonder, how did I make this quilt? Do not fear. I'm going to show it to you. This is just beautiful. And I just finished this one. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Pattern is included in this one. You purchase blocks like this. They're completely pre-cut. Everything is ready. You just find your own background, or you can visit our website, iron it on, stitch around the edges. And there are all the blocks that are in it. Your borders are pre-cut. Everything is in this cute little box. And yes, they're also going online today. today. So give us a few minutes to just come in. We are super excited for you. And those are brand new. Do not forget your binding and your background of your choice. Or maybe you already have fabrics at home <coughs> that you wanted to use it. A lot of questions last time were about a rainbow quilt. How can you make those? Where do you get the fabrics? And I wanted to show you, we have three versions of the Alaska. We have the rainbow Alaska. We have the blue and white Alaska that it's amazing so those kids just came back in stock we didn't have them for a little bit and they're just back in and my personal favorite because you know how it is when it comes to christmas you're like oh my gosh i want to make something now it's the time to do it we do have this kit isn't it beautiful this is the christmas one so Alaska holiday. We have all of those kits available on our website. And look at, did you notice? This is our new box for the Rainbow Alaska. It is so beautiful. And when you open the box, you're gonna see all your blocks, pre-cuts, ready, set, go, in the packages. They're just wonderful. They're all here, ready, set, go. So you can just get one of those boxes. If you're getting the Alaska holiday, it comes like this. So I want to show you. So this is all shrink wrap and their pieces are right there inside. Um, let me see if I can pull this up. Oh, it's really sitting in there. It's not going anywhere except on the website and then to you. So notice that they're right there, all the pieces. This one has only six fabrics, so we do not pack this one separately each block. You open the kit and you start making your blocks and then you're gonna have a beautiful quilt. The Alaska Rainbow, we pack all the blocks individually because there are 24 fabrics. So I don't want you to get mixed. I want you to have everything exactly as I did. And the one that we have available on our website is cut with our linen texture collection and the linen texture collection it is just beautiful and it's gonna give you a really nice variety of colors it varies slightly from the original century solids now time for questions Yes, Erin, do we have friends calling and asking questions? Do we have nice comments? Yes, we do. Awesome. So the first question is, what is your favorite quilting thread? Uh, so my favorite quilting thread for machine quilting, oh, thank you, Michael. My favorite sewing thread is Aurifil Thread 2370. So that's my favorite for sewing. If you need a thread for quilting, you can do um, uh, another thread. I, I use for long arm quilting, I use superior threads. So there is a beautiful variety of superior threads. And you know what, next week, I'm gonna bring some of them and show it to you, the threads that I like to use. So that is gonna be something, let's keep it for next week. And then I have a favorite hand quilting thread. YLI is the one that I like to use for hand quilting. But for sewing, 2370, you cannot go wrong. You can use this thread also for machine quilting for smaller project, but for larger project, you want something a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna make sure next week, I'm gonna have this ready. Now, hold on one second. I have a question from Katie. Yes, Katie, you may have a new kitty. Awesome, okay, I answered that one. I've been asking, uh, I've been asked about it and I had to make sure I take care of Katie's question. Our next question would be, are your bindings stitched by hand or machine? My binding are first uh, stitched by machine and then I roll the edges around the quilt and I stitch it by hand. So the first part, 
I lay it right here, sew it by machine, then I roll to the back and I stitch by hand on the back. And something what is different about my binding, you notice they're really nice and delicate and small, but don't be uh, fooled by it. They do have the double protection around the edge. I cut my binding at one and three quarters, then I sew them single, fold it to the seam, then roll it around a double. Visit my YouTube channel and you know, this week is our last uh, block for quilt alone for our winter village. Next week, we have a, like a wrap up how to do a binding for that quilt, applique, lay out your blocks, and we're going to finish our mini. So our next Friday regular show on our quilting window, I'm going to make sure I review a binding with you guys. Great question and a good idea for me for next Friday. One other question that we had was, do you have a tutorial on the piano key border? I don't, but guess what? It's so simple, so, so simple. All that you have to do, sew a bunch of strips together to create a panel, then you cut two section, sew those sections together, and then you start building up a piano key border. And maybe that should be another one of our videos when we do a little bit more about scrappy quilts. And last question for today, what batting do you prefer? I love the Hubs beddings and um, Michael is so nice to me. He has made sure he brought those. My favorite by far, I don't make a quilt without this bedding, is the Hubs Tuscany collection beddings. And we have cotton, wool, and then we have a mix. They're polyester. They're really cute little chart that you can purchase with all different beddings. Uh, and you have to choose it, depends how you're going to use the quilt. If you're gonna wash the quilt a lot, I like to use the cotton beddings because it gives me that shrinkage. It feels vintage and it looks old. So I love that. If I wanna hang the quilt, excuse me, if I wanna hang the quilt in a shawl, the cotton wool mix is the blend I will use it because it gives me the loft, it shows off my quilting and my quilt hangs beautifully there's no creases in it so choose the one that you like it this is the cotton wool blend that would be perfect for your quilt so we have some of the beddings on our website and it's always nice to try a smaller size and see how it works for you if you love it perfect if you don't you tried it that's the way to go some things i try and i don't like it but guess what i still tried it and i enjoyed it because i am open-minded to try all different things any other questions no so we are done for today i am so thankful that you took the time and wanted to visit with me i hope you enjoy some beautiful lock cabin quilts and i can't wait to see you next week Let's see if we can have some stars glowing here at Laundry Basket Quilts Live. Please make sure you give us thumbs up and visit our website at laundrybasketquilts.com. Happy quilting!